In this video, we will see the event crop and pan option, this is the main element that will help us to perform the animation method. We enter the box and its options will be displayed, in it, we will see two tabs. Position, and Mask. We will activate the Mask tab to enable the event, from the small timeline that the trimmer has, we can start creating our keyframes. As we can see there are a series of buttons for it. And they are, to create the frames, delete, advance, go back. To insert the points we can also double click where we want to place them. Keep in mind that the closer they are, the faster the animation will be, and the further away, the slower. To select them all, just drag your pointer over the timeline. The buttons on the left side are the ones we will use to create the masks. The first is a selection tool. The second adds points called delimiters with which the mask is created. The third tool is for removing delimiters. The next one is to soften edges or round them. Then we have the square or rectangle tool to create shaped masks. In the same way as the previous one, with circular shapes. Zoom tool. I do not use the following and it is not necessary for what we will do. we create a shape. A mask is made up of delimiters and segments, you can add or remove as many delimiters as you need, there is no limit to them. But keep in mind that the more points you have, the more difficult it will be to move them later, when making the animation. Now we'll create a simple animation to give a quick look at how a part of the animation system works that you can do in the program. We draw a circle. Next I will show you the way you have to block certain movements when manipulating the mask. The last tool that we had seen before is the one we use to block horizontal and vertical movements, or give it free movement. Later this will be very useful. We will test how an animation with interpolated movement works. Great! We can see that the space between one frame and the other has generated an interpolation of movement.
A little trick to stretch the mask symmetrically is by pressing the control key and stretching it horizontally, vertically, or by the corners to make it larger or smaller in general. You can also rotate it this way. I will leave some options on the screen in case they are of interest to you, I will not explain these options since they are not necessary for the animations, but if you want you can experiment with any of them. This was a quick look at the tools that will help us make animations within this program. I hope it has been useful to you. Thanks for watching.